So, we're here to talk about skincare. This has honestly been one of my most requested videos. Besides like, people want a video of me like trying on everything in my closet and I honestly didn't even know that was a thing, but that is like insane. But yes, we're talking about skincare today. So I'm finally giving the people what they want. So by the way, if you like this look, I actually filmed it. Um, I just filmed it and then I changed my shirt cause now it's a different day. Um, yeah, I will link that below if it's already posted, but if it's not, stay tuned because I actually really like this look, so. My disclaimer for this video is obviously I'm not a dermatologist, I'm a child, so what worked for my skin might not necessarily work for your skin, but I'm just gonna talk about my skin history and what I found that helps me. So yeah, so just to give a little background, I had really bad acne in high school. It was on my cheeks, it was on my forehead, it was on my chin, it was literally, it was so bad. And I, I tried everything, literally everything. I tried everything that was over the counter, I tried proactive, and I finally just went to the dermatologist. And I ended up being prescribed Epiduo, which I used for a while. And then that Epiduo, it cleared a lot of my acne, but it didn't do anything about dark marks or anything like that. So I, um, I went to a different dermatologist and I was prescribed Tazerac, which is like super strong. And that, it helped, um, but both of these products made my skin like super dry. Like I went from having like probably normal to oily skin to having dry, like bone dry skin. And that was just the worst. So I have been off of Tazrock, I would say for about a year. Um, and I would say now my skin is normal, which is actually pretty nice. So as of now, my main concern with my skin is getting rid of dark marks and having a smooth, like bump free texture, which I feel like that's what everybody wants. Like that's just the goal. I'm gonna go ahead and walk you guys through my current skincare routine, but I'm just gonna let y'all know that I'm kind of trying out new things, trying to introduce things to my skincare routine. So it, my skincare routine now might not be the same in say like a month. If I change things, I'll let y'all know because we are, we're definitely in this together, truly. So the first thing I do when I wake up, I use my Cetaphil Gentle skin cleanser. Yes, I used to use their foaming cleanser, but I found it to be way too drying and stripping when I was on um, Tazerac and Epiduo. So I love this. It is basically, I've been using it four years. I've been using it since I was like 15. I find that I really like a gentle, simple cleanser because it doesn't really need bells and whistles because you're just washing it off. Like I feel like if you're spending a lot of money on a cleanser, I mean, I'm not gonna lie, this is, it's not the cheapest, but it's also not like Tatcha or a drunk elephant. Like it, it's nothing like that. Like you can get it from CVS. So in the morning, I will just do a cleanser and then I will move on to my Cetaphil moisturizing cream. This is actually going in my favorites video. I'm not sure if that's up yet. Probably not, so stay tuned. But like I said, keeping things simple. It's super moisturizing. I love this. I've been using it for years. Um, but I'm, I'm open to trying new things, but I just find that this is just like exactly what I need. Like I don't need anything else. So yeah. And then at night in between those two steps, this is so out of order, please. No, not this yet. I've been using the ordinary glycolic acid 7% toning solution. And I find that chemical exfoliation is way way, 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 way better than physical exfoliation. Like, please y'all stop using microbeads and exfoliating your face. Like it's 2019, it's time to get with the program. And if there's anything that you learn from this video, it's like, please start chemically exfoliating <laughs> and use sunscreen, but I'll get to that. So this has basically replaced the Tazerac. The Tazerac is also a chemical exfoliant, but this is one tenth of the price because 
the stuff that your dermatologist prescribes you is just too expensive and I realize that not everyone has access to that so this is definitely a great alternative. Um, it might be a little harsh if you're just starting out. My skin, <laughs> she has been through a lot. So this is this is nothing for her. I know there's kind of a stigma against using like chemicals on your face or whatever. And as much and as much as I wish I was one of those girls that could just be like, witch hazel, coconut oil, drink water, blah blah blah. Like I'm not her. Like. I'm just not. I wish I was because that's cheaper, but I'm not that girl. I have to use things that slaw off the dead skin. Like, I I need to get rid of my dark marks and I just really feel like this is the only way that works for me. So, um, yeah, that's just like my little spiel about that. Cause I mean, yeah, in a perfect world, I would love to just use natural things on my skin, but it just doesn't work for me and I feel like it's really important for you to use what works for you instead of what works for other people or what other people think is good for your skin because at the end of the day it's your skin so do what you need to do don't try to feel forced to use something that doesn't work for you but anyway if you're not on the chemical exfoliation wave by this point please join me like please um and I really recommend that you check out the ordinary like this isn't sponsored or anything, but I just kind of really like what they do, even though like the CEO is like going through it. I don't even know if he's still the CEO, but um, their stuff is just really simple, straightforward, and they have some routines on there already. So you can kind of see like what you need, like based on your concerns. And if you have any questions, like you could honestly leave a comment and I'll try to answer it to the best of my ability because I want everyone to achieve their skin goals in 2019. Oh. One physical exfoliation I do is um, shaving my face like with the, um, <laughs> I don't know why I'm acting it out, but um, with those eyebrow razors, I find that it really like makes my skin feel so much smoother. I get less breakouts and it makes my makeup on so much smoother. Like I literally did it last night and I mean, she looks kind of good, so. Sorry, I have my notes down here, so if you guys see me like looking down, I'm just trying to make sure that I cover everything because I want this to be like as informative and helpful as possible, so let me keep looking. Oh, so I'm actually trying out this Tula Skincare um, Glycolic Acid, because I mean, this is Glycolic Acid too, but this one has more, like this is 7%, this is 10%, and I just want to see how I like it. Um, they actually sent me this, I'm just gonna say that, and I'm trying it out. But, and also, they tell you to use this twice a day, which is kind of spicy because I only use my other one once a day. So yeah, one thing, always use sunscreen if you're using a, a chemical exfoliator. I'm sorry, I keep getting mixed up, but it's just so important. And I'm gonna get into that. Trust me, like, I'm going to get into that. But next I'm gonna talk about moisture. So I already said what moisturizer I use and that is the Cetaphil moisturizing cream. It's actually for the body, but I use it on my face and I haven't had any issues with it. It's just, it's great. But one thing is I need y'all to moisturize. I don't care if you're oily, I don't care if, I don't care about anything, honestly. Like you need to be using moisturizer. I need y'all to use moisturizer because if you're not, then you can damage your moisture barrier, which will lead to more problems that you don't want, such as excess oil, more bumps. Like, please, please keep your skin moisturized. Like that is what I learned throughout my skincare journey. Like that's one of the most important things I learned besides sunscreen. Like, please keep your skin moisturized. It will thank you. Moisturized skin is happy skin. I just, I urge y'all, I really do. Cause I know like some people who have oily skin are like, oh, like I'm oily, so I don't need any more moisture because it's gonna make me more oily. That is false. That's false. Like, please look it up. Please moisturize, that's all I have to say. Arguably one of the most important skincare products. Probably, no, I would definitely say it's the most important. Please focus. No, it's just gonna focus on my face. So I don't care if you have dark skin. 
I don't care if it's winter. Like, use sunscreen every day. So if you're trying to get rid of dark marks and you're doing all this, you're using all your exfoliators and your peels and stuff like that, and you're not using sunscreen, it's counterproductive because the sun, the UV rays of the sun darken your dark marks. So if you're not protecting yourself from that, then anything that you're doing to help your skin is just like pointless. Nothing is gonna get better, like I promise, because the sun is like actively working against you. Like you need to get into a mindset where wherever you feel the sun shining on your face, you're like, no, let me pull my shade down in my car. Let me put on more sunscreen. Like I just, I'm passionate about this. Y'all need to use sunscreen. This is so important. Like I'm feeling energetic. I haven't even had that much coffee. Like it's, it's 10 a.m. and I'm passionate about sunscreen, truly. So I already showed this, but this is the sunscreen that I'm using. It's the Bior UV Aqua Rich Watery Essence. Um, a lot of people rave about this in like the skincare community, but um, it's actually not sold in the US, so I buy it off of Amazon, but it's just, it's perfect, especially for people with darker skin like me. Like there's no flashback. It just, it just sinks in and it's just like, you forget about it. And it doesn't have like that nasty sunscreen smell. It smells kind of good, honestly. So I just put that on before I put on my primer. I let it sink in for a little bit and then I just move on to my makeup. And it's easy. It takes two seconds. So I just need y'all to do better, okay? Use sunscreen. And if you already use sunscreen, great. I love you, you're great. But if you don't, shame on you, please. I, if you don't get anything out of this video, I take it back. Use sunscreen, use sunscreen. Like it's just, it's so easy. And oh, don't use St. Ives, okay? Don't use, ugh. <laughs> Thank you for coming to my TED talk, honestly. <laughs> so last thing I wanna talk about is sheet masks. Honestly, I don't even have much to say about sheet masks. I just love them. Like, they just make you, your skin feel so moisturized, so smooth, and then you go to bed and you wake up and it's like, wow, my skin is glowing. So I would say my favorite sheet mask right now is the Tony Moly Nourishing I'm Honey Sheet Mask. It is just so moisturizing. Ugh, I love it so much. Like, I just... <sighs> And it's like after you've had like a long day and you're hot, you just put on a sheet mask and it's so cooling. Honestly, this isn't even skincare related. It's just, it's just relaxing. So I still recommend it, honestly, even if it doesn't like do miraculous things for your skin, it's just, it's still a nice thing to do to make sure that your skin is moisturized. And I mean, self care. So that is all. Um, I hope that this video was super informative and I hope you guys got a lot out of it. Like I said, things that work for me might not necessarily work for you. So just keep that in mind and don't come at me if what I, what I do doesn't um, clear your skin miraculously. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm getting better at that. Um, follow me on Instagram at Lexi. so. Bye. Top side is gonna fly like I go sleep in the day. Go to parties at night, man. I'm from.